हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम बैक टू एक्सोटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड टू शो अनदर एग्जांपल चार्ट टुडे एंड द टॉपिक इज हाउ टू सी इफ यू विल बी अ गुड एस्ट्रोलॉजर और व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट कॉम्बिनेशंस व्हिच एन एस्ट्रोलॉजर कुड हैव और शुड हैव और मस्ट हैव ऑल राइट सो देयर आर hundreds and thousands of combinations like this which are mentioned in the classics and i will not be quoting shlokas or references but uh, i will practically demonstrate some things some principles which you can see and uh, these are also from my experience of the shlokas which i have read and i have learned and i have applied them practically and i have seen them working right and left so these are very crucial placements which one should be having okay or at least some of these placements now you may have uh, all of these placements but you may still not be into astrology uh, or you may just uh, see astrology videos because there is some other combination in your chart uh which is not letting you take astrology 24 by 7 okay and maybe you don't have any of these but you may have some other combinations which are working for you okay so if you are interested very much in jyotish and when i say jyotish i mean in the study of jyotish okay not in just watching transit videos depending on your sun sign and moon sign okay that is not a study of jyotish that is just uh looking at your own horoscope but if you are really interested in jyotish or you know somebody who is very much interested then you can uh, write it down in the comments the combinations and placements that you see in their horoscopes okay or even in your horoscope all right so this is the horoscope of a uh, very beautiful astrologer of a male and he is exceptionally brilliant when it comes to astrology his knowledge is par beyond of so many astrologers that i know and therefore very kindly he has agreed to uh, he has given me the permission to show this horoscope as an example so therefore i would first uh, pay my gratitude to this person and uh, the birth details will not be revealed and please do not ask me the birth details i will not give you the information all right there you go beautiful horoscope here so what are some of the combinations which an astrologer should have well there are many combinations first of all we have to understand which are the planets that represent astrology well there are three planets primarily it is jupiter sun and k2 to some extent mars also but primarily we have jupiter and then we have sun and then we have k2 so if the lord of the ascendant you know and uh, also sorry we have the trinal houses okay so if the lords of the trines or the ascendant lord is somehow related to these planets like jupiter sun or ketu or if the these planets are very well placed in kendras or trikonas then one can be a very brilliant astrologer but there are many uh, steps to it we will see uh, one by one so why because sun is the karaka for jyotish he is the karaka for light so unless sun is well placed in somebody's chart it is very difficult to uh, enlighten others and then we also have jupiter so what is jupiter jupiter is the significator of the soul he is jiva karak so therefore a person who has a great jupiter along with a, a great sun can actually guide others towards the higher fulfillment of jyotish okay 
which is uh, which is very beautiful and ketu is again moksha karak that's like the higher version of jupiter the ultimate uh, aim of spiritual progress is to become detached from matter and to become attached to god that is what ketu teaches many times people think ketu is about detachment but ketu is not about detachment only detachment from matter is just uh, the beginning of spiritual life one of the symptom or the only symptom of progress or one of the top symptoms of progress in spiritual life is how much detached are you becoming from matter but that is not the end uh, of spiritual life spiritual life starts when you become detached from matter and ends when you become attached to god and his activities so here if you see uh, it's leo lagna and then sun is the lord of the ascendant he is sitting in the 10th house very powerful there he is in digbala extremely powerful and then ketu is also placed there so sun ketu conjunction very 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 good for spiritual progress then we have to see the trinal lords are the trinal lords somehow linked with these planets okay or with each other so if you check carefully here the trinal lord one is sun because kendra is also a trikon i mean the lagna is a kendra and a trikon simultaneously then the fifth lord is jupiter jupiter is aspecting the lagna sitting in the seventh house and then what about mars mars is the ninth lord mars is again aspecting jupiter mars aspects the eighth house also so they are also somehow linked they are somehow associated but these combinations are not enough many people will have these combinations there are many other combinations which you need so when we talk of astrology as a, a tool to guide others we also need to check uh, the third house okay because third house is the house of upadesh guru upadesh the advice that you give others so the third house should be uh, somehow strong okay now that can be in different ways the third lord could be well placed okay so here if you see the third lord is venus he is although in detriment which means it is in the opposite house from itself but it is in the ninth house this is uh, one of the best placements that you can have for any kind of guidance or any kind of consulting which means the link between the third and the ninth okay and if you check carefully jupiter from the 7th is aspecting the third house so fifth lord in the kendra aspects the third house fantastic placement again very good for guidance and apart from that there are many other combinations uh, for example another combination that i have seen is if somehow jupiter and moon are associated with each other which means if either they are conjunct or they are aspecting each other or they are under parivartan yoga so here jupiter and moon they are conjunct now why 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 is this a very good yoga in fact in my opinion this is the best yoga which anybody can have why because when jupiter and moon are together the person can very easily give optimism to others so what 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 happens when you want to go to an astrologer you have some problem you have some difficulties you have some challenges in your life and you you have tried your best or you are still trying but you want to know what ultimately is there in your karma right because at times you feel that whatever efforts you are putting it is not yielding any result 
so you want to know at times is there any use of going ahead in this domain or should I just leave it or take up something else which should be done only after putting full efforts okay we should never uh, show our horoscopes to any random people or even to astrologers or to anybody without trying ourselves first okay that is very 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 crucial so the biggest temptation that we have is the moment we have any small problem we go to an astrologer no that should not be the way we should try our best and if we are not able to solve it only then we should go not that for every small trouble you know you keep going to an astrologer that is not good for you because then you will start losing faith in yourself okay you will start thinking oh anyways everything is destined what can i do okay so when jupiter is with moon the person can give optimism to others so the so the astrologer uh, can very easily give uh, hope to somebody else that oh you will have a better life in this area you know in some point of time so here jupiter and moon are conjunct and it is also aspecting the lagna now here interestingly the ninth ninth lord is in debility but for uh, there are many rules for cancellation of debility which means Nietzsche Bhanga so one of the rules is if the uh, dispositor of the sign is aspecting or sitting with that planet then the debility gets cancelled so here moon is the lord of cancer so either moon should aspect Mars or sit with Mars so that is not happening here the other rule is uh, if that dispositor is in Kendra then also that debility is mitigated which means the debility goes down by significant percentage. So here you see moon is in the Kendra in the 7th house. So this helps to mitigate this Nietzsche, this debility of Mars which is there. And also in the modern age where we see uh, internet and uh, YouTube and you know, websites they are they are very much popular these days so we can also check planets like Mercury if Mercury is somehow associating with the if Mercury Venus associates with the houses of money which are the sixth uh, the sixth the second the tenth and the eleventh so here if you see Mercury is the second lord in the 11th very good for finances then with the sixth lord Saturn fantastic for finances then again aspecting back the fifth house very good and then you also have planets like Venus which are in trines Venus is also a guru he is Daitya Guru Shukracharya so if Venus is in trines then the astrologer can give very good guidance when it comes to material life in areas of relationships especially of course there are many other combinations one of the other placements which I have seen which helps in regards to astrology is somehow the lord of if if the ninth and tenth lords are having any kind of yoga basically it really 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 helps so here if you see the tenth lord is in the ninth house and the ninth lord which is mars is aspecting the house of the tenth lord so venus is ruling the tenth house and it is also ruling the uh, third house Libra and Taurus so Mars aspects 1, 2, 3, 4 so Mars is not aspecting Venus but it is aspecting the house of Venus this is also a kind of Parivartan Yoga which occurs this is not actually a Parivartan between uh, the ninth and the tenth lord this is like a Parivartan uh, not direct Parivartan this is like an indirect Parivartan between the ninth and the third lord basically okay because the third lord is in the ninth and the ninth lord is not in third it is aspecting the third house but somehow this third lord is also the tenth lord 
okay so therefore mars and venus are very closely linked so this is like a dharma karma dipati yoga which is occurring this is not exactly that but uh, you could say the results will manifest if the person takes this seriously okay and of course for jyotish we also need to check planets like rahu and ketu why rahu because rahu and ketu they deal with life and death they deal with rebirth and here if you see this lagnesh which is sun is conjunct rahu ketu he is in this rahu ketu axis in that Fourth house, tenth house, in the four ten axis. So fourth house is what it is education, and tenth house is where you go and uh, help others, basically society, other people, name and fame. So this lagnesh is in tenth. This is uh, there is a very beautiful yoga which is uh, which the classics say this is called as siddha yoga. which means anything the person takes up he is successful in that regard and uh, this ninth lord is in 12th so this person had gone to a different country to pursue his masters and when he went there there he got interested in jyotish and uh, he has done very good after that okay and of course there are other planets which also you can check for example the 11th lord is in the own house so that is also very good for finances and mercury and saturn are together so whenever mercury and saturn are linked i have also seen there that is very good for jyotish it's very surprising all the combinations are there in this horoscope now why mercury and saturn are good for jyotish because when mercury and saturn are conjunct or they are somehow mutually aspecting each other or in parivartan or sukshma parivartan then what happens the person has the ability to think deeply not just superficially oh okay this planet is in this house it will give this result no you have to check the horoscope then you have to check the dashas then you have to check ashtak varga then you have to check shatbala then you have to check the divisional charts then you have to check the transits finally so this requires a lot of detailed lot of detailed efforts and you know, to understand what where the flow of the chart is going it's, it's not a joke to look at a horoscope sometimes people they they think that uh, they should be able to make a prediction in the in 2 minutes or 5 minutes no i i know uh, astrologers from villages of india who take at least 1 and 1/2 to 2 hours before they make a single prediction so uh, watching horoscopes and predicting is not not some uh, fancy business that oh i i predict in you know 5 minutes he he does it in 10 minutes so i am better than him it's not like that and it it also does not mean that uh, somebody keeps uh, doing all the analysis for 8 hours and then he can't still say anything about the horoscope that is also not correct or that is also not recommended so therefore mercury and saturn placements they they are very good i have seen because they can help us to structure things properly and they are very good friends also and he has these combinations in the 11th house 11th house is the house of gains and networks and network circles is the house of finances all right so again as i said there are many 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 other combinations which you could find and yes there are some difficulties of course jupiter is in the 7th which is not a very great placement 
and uh, yeah the, i mean you could go on finding difficulties there are unlimited difficulties in this horoscope like every other horoscope but i will ignore those and there are many challenges which this person has uh faced in his life also even in the study of jyotish primarily because of the debility of the ninth lord although the debility is getting mitigated by moon being in kendra but still the debility remains and the debility doesn't disappear you know so this can give difficulties in finding a guru or getting related to the guru so there are multiple challenges which can come up all right so as usual uh, this chart is also not perfect like no other chart so let us not expect to see perfect horoscopes okay because everybody has malefics in their charts and everybody has difficulties in life all right thank you very much and as i said before if you know any other combination like this then you can always write it down in the comments i would love to see them and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation from me you can go to my website down in the description section of the videos god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him bye bye